It's Friday morning here on the Football Spy Show, sponsored by our friends at the car giant Renault. I'm just back from watching Spurs destroy hearts in the first leg of their Europa League qualifier. And I'd like to hear from our Scottish viewers. Is Scottish football in crisis with Rangers also humiliated by Loli Maribor yesterday? Full reports on the Mural Football website. In the meantime, some more top transfer tales for you. And for so long, Arsenal have been in the driving seat for the Valencia winger Juan Mata. But from the clouds over the last two days, while I've been in Scotland, Chelsea have appeared and da the Daily Mail say that they are ready to make a £29 million bid for the player. The Telegraph says it's closer to £27 million. That should be enough to land him if the word coming out of Spain is to be believed. The Guardian say West Brom have held talks with the midfielder Owen Hargreaves. He's a free agent. They're confident that the former Man United midfielder will pass a full medal if they can agree personal terms with him. Go to mirrorfootball.co.uk for details of David Sullivan's response to Queen's Park Rangers' £4 million bid for Scott Parker. Sullivan says it's a bit like the Hammers bidding £12 million for Wayne Rooney. I guess that's a no then. Lots of reports that Sami Nasri is inching closer to moving from Arsenal to Manchester City. Please just go already. Uh, one player moving in the opposite direction is Emmanuel Adebayor. We told you quite some time ago that he was going to Spurs and the North Londoners are hoping to confirm that later today. Time for your section of the show, and I said on Wednesday that uh, Liverpool were interested in the Celtic uh, winger Paddy McCourt, who scored the other day for Scotland. He did, of course, score for Northern Ireland. Thanks to all of you for letting me know. You've also been keeping me up to speed on all manner of things in, your, in terms of your assessments and your predictions. WFT Man thinks Luis Suarez at Liverpool is going to win the Golden Boot. Sizzler in London thinks that the Golden Boot winner is going to be Sergio Aguero at Manchester City. He did look good the other night. And Mohamed Abbas is on holiday in Spain. He thinks Javier Hernandez at Manchester United is going to win the Golden Boot. As for your top fours and bottom threes, Mikey Day thinks, like a lot of you to be fair, that Blackburn are going to go down with Wigan and QPR. Aaron J. Fuller thinks QPR are going to stay up, but he does think Blackburn will go down with Wigan and Norwich. As for your top fours, Pac-Man thinks the Dutch title is going to be won by PSV with Ajax second, AZ Alkmaar in third and FC Twente fourth. Max Lenau has given us his predictions for the Danish Superliga. He thinks AC Horsens is going to win it from FCK, OB and Bronby. His explanation is, in his words, even though Horsens were close to relegation last year, they've been tearing every team that they've met apart. We'll see. One more top four for you. Mr Silver thinks Manchester United are going to beat City to the English Premier League title. He's got Chelsea in third and uh, Liverpool fourth. No Spurs and no Arsenal in there. I think Spurs might well be in with a shout for the top four. Let's bring you up to date with some news coming out of Planet Football in the last few hours. So reports in France suggest Monaco are lining up a move for the Blackburn defender Gael Givet. Skysports.com say Crystal Palace are tracking the Southampton defender Dan Seaborn. The new Liverpool defender Jose Enrique believes more players could follow him out of the exit door at Newcastle and he's revealed his concerns over the St James's Park Club. I've been speaking to West Ham over the last couple of days and I can tell you that they're watching developments with the Newcastle midfielder Joey Barton. He could be playing alongside Kevin Nolan again at Upton Park. Competition time and we want to know which game is going to produce the most goals this weekend. It's the Saturday and the Sunday games only, please. The game between United and Spurs on Monday is not included. Which game is going to produce the most goals? Loads and loads of you have already been in touch. Thanks very much indeed. Uh, on YouTube, Harrison Phipps says Arsenal against Liverpool. So too does GSI 4100. The LFC fans says Swansea against Wigan. Carl Peters is in South Africa. He thinks it's going to be Chelsea v West Brom. Kyle also thinks that Emmanuel Adebayor will win the golden boot if he signs for Spurs this weekend. Sushanta Parajuli is in Saskatchewan and she says uh, Bolton versus Manchester City. Pal 86 LFC says Everton QPR. James Crino says uh, Chelsea versus West Brom. He's in Sydney, Australia. Bilal is from right here in England. He says Aston Villa against Blackburn and Darius is in Lithuania and he says Sunderland against Newcastle. Good mixture there. Keep your entries coming in, especially on Twitter. Our address there is at football 
Spire. Dan's waiting to talk to you there. The competition closes at midday tomorrow, London time. We won't take any more entries after that, and we'll announce a winner on Monday. Now, go to the Mirror Football website this morning for the news coming out of Manchester that uh, the defender Nemanja Vidic is out for a further five weeks after being injured against West Brom last week. Big, big blow for United with Rio Ferdinand out as well. Also, we'll start going through your top 10 best signings of the summer next week, so keep them coming in. Steve, Dan and Rob are waiting to update you with all the latest breaking transfer news on the Mirror Football website. I'm back on Monday. In the meantime, enjoy your football.